Hello and welcome back to our Venice campaign in Mayo Taxes. So let's keep going. Let's just head on right into this thing. And I forgot to do more um, privilege revocation. So let's assess your powers. And you don't really care about the lesser nobles right now. Let's let's do the burgers instead. Uh, let's revoke privileges and let's see. Assess your power. So, he yeah, has minor toleration of smuggling. I kind of like this one, though. Um, well, I, mean, I don't like it, but it's not terrible. This one, however, is fucking garbage. Rights of commerce. Uh, this is also garbage. Uh, that's also garbage. Uh, that's also garbage. Mm, it's, it's, mm, it's not amazing. And then, that one's actually kind of good. 1 to 5% of court wealth sent to the estate's income at the pr uh, and for the sorry for the cost of 1 to 5% of my court wealth i get plus 10% urban production modifier in all provinces owned by the burgers that's perfectly fine in my opinion that's perfectly fine um, that's a small price to pay so i'm thinking rights of commerce we're going to get rid of because Fuck your rights of commerce, and fingers crossed they accept the wisdom of my decision. We'll see in a moment. Oh, I thought this I thought this was it, and I was like, oh, this is new, but no, it's just lose army tradition. It's like, because, of course, we only have 12 now, um, and it's not great. Uh, they are a little bit upset. We'll see how upset they end up being. Did I just get away with it again? Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck yes. That's glorious. That is so good. That is so, so good. Uh, this is trash that we need to get our professionalism up. It's just too good. Getting discipline from army professionalism is amazing. So it's an, What didn't this happen last episode? Excuse me, what the fuck? Yeah, uh, so Switzerland stopped being a free city and now is a free city once more. Hmm, interesting. I need to get my sailor amount up. Uh, knowledge sharing from Ragusa, that's fine. I think we're still giving it to... Oh no, there's a plague in Thana. Let me just see, can I see Thana? No, I can't, so I don't really care. Um, are we still getting... Uh, where is it? Knowledge sharing, yes, we're still giving knowledge sharing to... who is it again? Thessaly. Oh, wow! Oh, wow! I'm gonna get that forever. That's incredible! I'm just gonna I'm just gonna quickly take a picture of that and send it to the devs. Uh, I don't like this noble plot, but nothing too bad seems to have happened. Let's have a look at our stability. See if it's went down. Our stability points right now two twenty six. No, it did not go down. So yay. Uh, and we have naval supplies, which is good. Okay. Right. Yeah. So that's pretty interesting. That is very interesting. I'm just going to check that in bug reports, so I don't forget. There we go. Right, lovely. So, uh, lesser nobles, it's time for you to lose a privilege. Even though you don't really have any land or privileges to speak of, what I could do, actually, is take something from you first, because some manpower would, would be pretty nice. So we'll take your manpower, and now we'll look at your privileges. Let's take away the tax exemption. And hopefully these guys accept it as well. I just didn't want to take the tax exemption away first, because then his influence would drop down and we wouldn't get any manpower from him. Whereas now we just got a thousand manpower. So that's, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. We've got space for one more state. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, and they're furious. <laughs> it's still only 
25, well, 12.5% chance of losing one stab, I think. Well, it's 25% times 25%, so it's actually a 6.5% chance of losing. Or is it? I don't know. I don't know. Fuck maths. Oh, and we lost one. Finally, we lost one. However, however... I don't like being that low, so here, have 10 prestige. And now we're back up again. <laughs> Fuck, I love it. I love it. I love doing that. Uh, 2169 is our trade power right now. Pretty soon, very, very soon, we're going to get that beautiful uh, little church thing going on. And we'll also get ourselves a university, and it's going to be great. And we lost our treasurer, which is not great. But we can't get a trade efficiency guy, but you're too expensive, which is not great. But we'll get this guy instead. And that's great. Yeah. Uh, is there a better guy here? No. I mean, I would love this, but I'm not spending that much money because he's not worth that much to me. I don't think he's worth that much to me. Make your fucking mind up, Switzerland. Do you want to be a free city? Do you not want to be a free city? Just make your mind up. It's a... Uh, you're, you're flip-flopping back and forth and it's not cool. Yeah, I find it interesting that I will never... Well, I mean... It doesn't last forever, though, does it? Knowledge sharing. Uh, yeah, so it ends in 1411, but then I can immediately turn around and give it to him again. So maybe that, that just needs to be bumped a bit. Because he's getting literally no benefit. He's just giving me money. I think, yeah, I feel like that's a little bit broken. That shouldn't be like that. Three people we could invite to the Trade League. I assume, yeah, there are still Northern people. Which is not interesting to me in the slightest. Actually, actually, you, Passau, you actually do interest me. Let's take you back, and we'll get Passau in the uh, in our trade league, because we are taking trade from the Upper Danube, and he is in the Upper Danube. These guys aren't. Oh, hang on. Are you? No. Oh, this is Bohemia, and Schoenberg is in the next trade zone up. You take economic ideas. I'm going to do exactly that. And the Signora. The Signora consisted of the Consiglieri and the Doge, forming the highest representation of the Serenissima. On the death of the Doge, the common proverb was used saying the Doge is dead, but the Signora is not. In an attempt to limit the power of the Doge, the Mayor Maggior Consiglio tried to lessen the influence of the Signora. So I want Republican tradition, remember, so I'm just going to take this one. And then the great work is 96% done, so we're going to do nothing, and then 9% of the work will be finished, and that'll be the end, end of it. And now it is done. We get a great cathedral. Fuck yes. So having a look at my lovely great cathedral, oh, it's so glorious. 25% urban gravity modifier is so good. It's so good. I'm, I'm very much looking forward to the growth of Venice due to this. <laughs> Giving me more sailors, hopefully. Uh... Gives me our power, our power from upper class. So from you. Um, yeah, it's just really good building. It's still only 925 to build this. Wasn't it 925 before? And now we've got that 5% and it's not changed. Has uh, this being built increase the de like the development here and increasing the cost of every new building because I feel like that might have happened like my local construction cost is plus 300 percent which is a little bit annoying I don't I don't really like it's that expensive but it sort of makes sense 
A masterpiece. Our court painter has drawn to our attention the magnificent new painting finished by a Renaissance master and encourages to bring it to Venice. The painting is uh, simply a portrait of a nobleman's wife. It is far from simple. The portrait is not only beautiful, it also uses a number of techniques unheard of by Venetian artists. The use of landscapes in the background, the illusion of three-dimensional features through layers of semi-transparent glazes, and the illusion of light and shadow created by painting without outlines. This sfumato technique is groundbreaking, and this painting is a masterpiece of the technique. Surely its enigmatic smile deserves to hang in the serene doge's palace. So for 28 ducats I can gain 50 anon points and 10 prestige. Um, and I gain the artist. Um, purchase the painting, 5 prestige, 40 admin, it's cheaper, it's half the price, or just gain 30 admin. I kind of want the admin. So what is this artist's name? It's you. Domenico Pazzini. I'm sure somebody knows of him. I personally do not. I've never heard of him. But, uh, yeah. Domenico Pazzini. He is apparently Venetian. Which feels to me like it should not be. Because, I mean, he wasn't Venetian. Like, he, he came to Venice with his art. I mean, unless he came from another province with Venetian culture. He could have come from Trent or Verona. Both of which would be mine. Mm, maybe. I don't know. Truce of Geneva has ended. I don't really care about any of the truces apart from this fucking Ragusa guy. Oh yeah, and I forgot again. Uh, invite to Trade League. You. Passau. <laughs> he gets he gets extra ship trade power. Good job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, that works for me. Passau has entered, and I can still invite these two guys, but again, it's it's really not worthwhile. Neither of these provinces do anything for me. Wait, is Hansa an end node? It is. I thought the hands had transferred over here. What? That's very curious. And apparently the Northwest Atlantic. It's not even called the English Channel anymore. That's uh that's unfortunate. Very interesting use of trade nodes. I knew I knew it got changed, but I didn't know exactly to what extent it had been changed. So now we get six ducats coming down, and we make 23 ducats total. So that seems to me to be totally worth it. 100%. I like it. We're already embargoing you. Uh, who else are we rivaled with? Oh, no, my game crashed. Fuck. Alright, well, apologies for that. I'm going to end the episode here. I forgot to save between episodes, so this will be a short episode. My apologies. I will see you in the next one, uh, where we're going to have to go back to the 1st of January. Sorry about that, and bye-bye.